Hi guys, it's Nick. Okay, another video today. Um, I'm going to talk about reselling now that's what I call music albums. Um, I've finished listing all my CDs and the last thing I put on was um, all of my now albums, which the vast majority of I bundled up uh, and did a few bundles of. Uh, and one of those sold almost instantly and I thought it would be a a good video to make because there's some really good money to be made in selling now albums. Uh, that's not only your CDs, but the cassettes and uh, even the vinyl as well. Um, so I'll show you what sold for me last night and then I, I've bought up a load of listings uh, from eBay to show you um, the sort of prices you can achieve selling these now albums. And um, yeah, so we'll have a look on, on eBay at some complete stuff and show the sort of money that can be made. Um, but yeah, first of all, let me just show you the, the bundles I made up and what sold last night. Okay, so these were the Now albums that I had in stock. Um, what I've done, I divided them up into um, some bundles. Um, it works best if you can get some sequential numbers, um, but these aren't complete runs by any means, but um, they do sell better. In sequence, so I did three bundles of sort of your bog standard later now albums. Anything from sort of the twenties onwards, I tend to bundle up. Um, and then I did one on its own. This is a fairly early one. It's not particularly rare. This is a fat box version, uh, um, and it's where are we now? Eighteen. Uh, and that one I've stuck on. Uh, I think it was around thirteen, fourteen pounds. Um, but yeah, I did this bundle. Oh no, that isn't meant to be there. Uh, I did this bundle here, uh, and I think I've stuck that one on at £20. I did this bundle here, again, I think that was 20 or maybe a little bit over 20 And this one, which I think was 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, oh no, 12, um, I put on at £25, and it sold almost immediately. Uh, and all this is... Uh, some fairly recent ones, it goes up to 19, 1980, uh, number 80, uh, and then goes back through the 70s down into the 60s. It's not a, an unbroken run by any means, like I say. Um, and that's sold straight away. So when you think, I tend to pay 50 pence maximum on these, sometimes I can get them for 20p. So let's say I spent 50p each on these, uh, which is very easy to do. Um, so there's six pounds cost to me there, sold for 25, that's with free shipping, so after shipping and costs, let's say, uh, I'm going to lose about seven pounds of that, so it leaves me 18, take off the six pounds cost, so there's still a good 12 pounds profit in one listing, so it's worth doing, um, whenever you see them, just pick them up when they're cheap, um, put them in the corner somewhere until you've got enough to make up some bundles and then list them uh, and that's what I did with those and then the earlier ones um, are well worth picking up to um, sell on their own and they're worth paying a bit more for as well um, so yeah that's what I've been doing my now albums uh, and I expect these to go fairly quickly like I say that one sold almost straight away for £25 for the bundle um, so let me just go on to eBay now and show you a few examples uh, of what sells Okay, before we go into eBay, I just need to say a quick hello and a quick shout out to Alex. Um, so yeah, hi Alex, how are you doing? Okay, so here we are in eBay. Um, the Now albums on CD started at number four, I believe. And this is uh, an example of somebody who's managed to pick up like the holy grail of Now CD albums, which is number four. Um, it was issued as a single disc one. The the first few Now albums on CD, they only issued as single disc ones. And they didn't have as many tracks as the cassette or the vinyl one. Um, but they were issued in really small numbers, so they are so hard to find. Um, so this person listed... Let's try and zoom in. I don't know if you can see that. I can't zoom in. There we go. Right. Uh, and that went at £449. Um, but it was on a best offer, so I'd imagine that sold for around 400 which is about right, believe it or not, um, for that edition. Can't zoom out, there you go. So that's, if you ever see that, do not leave it behind. Even if it's really scratched and damaged, you can pay um, 
in certain game stores you can go in and, and pay like two or three pounds to have a, a disc skimmed and resurfaced and take all the scratches off so if you if you ever see really early numbered now albums and they're scratched to death just buy them anyway uh, pay a few quid to get them skimmed and then sell them for hundreds so yeah that's the kind of holy grail of now albums is now four um, so if we move on to this one this is a now eight this was the first now album i ever owned i i had this on cassette back in 1987 i got this uh, when I bought my first double cassette player in Dixon's, uh, they gave this away on cassette. Um, I never had it on CD, but I did have the, the cassette version. And this one, you can see by the time you get to number eight, they've already reduced massively because they sold in, in bigger numbers. But they are still well worth picking up. That one sold for 4250 for example. Um, so yeah, and again, this at this point they were still... Oops. Uh, single disc ones. Let's see if I can highlight that. There, so it's still on just just one CD. Oops. Uh, but yeah, well worth picking up. So that's forty two pounds fifty. They managed to sell that one for. And then you get further along the number. So now we're at uh, now twenty, and they're onto the double disc ones by this point. And the, the series had really started shifting in big numbers. So there's lots and lots of these around. And by the time you get to the sort of 20, early 20 numbers, they're not really worth that much. They're still worth listing on their own. Um, this one, there you go, £15. So that's about the sort of money I've listed my now 18 for. Um, so they're still worth picking up and they're worth paying a little bit more than your, your average ones for. So, you know, you can comfortably pay a couple of pounds for these and still make really good money. Um, but it's all about conditions. So if, if you're going to buy these sort of uh, albums, just take a minute when you buy them to, to open it up, have a look at the discs and check they're not scratched to bits because it will make the difference between it being worth, you know, 15 or 20 pounds or, or very little at all. Because you've got to think these are going to collectors and they're going to care about that sort of thing. Um, so, yeah, uh, what else have we got here? Yeah, this is another example. This is now 25. By the time you get to this this point, uh, they're still in the what they call fat box. Uh, if you see there, they're still in these fat boxes. It's before they started doing in the slimline uh, cases. And these are still just about worth picking up to sell on their own. That one went for, as I say, 10.99 with a couple of pound postage. Um, but anything beyond this, I would tend to bundle up. Um, so that's kind of the end of where they're worth selling on their own, really, I tend to think. So that's now 25. Um, so anything beyond there, I would bundle. And there's a few examples of bundles I've found. This is very similar to the bundle I've just sold. Um, it's, how many is there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So yeah, that's an 11 CD bundle, very similar to what I've just sold. And they managed to get pretty much exactly the same money as I did. They've, they've done it with shipping on top. So 22 pounds. And three pound shipping, so the same as my twenty five I just got for my bundle, uh, and that works really well. You can just stick them on there, buy it now, and um, and they shift really quickly. Uh, another example here, picture's not very good on this, but this is just nine. It's almost um, an unbroken run. I think it's just fifty four that's missing. Otherwise, that would have been an unbroken run. Um, but those sold quite well. They got twenty pounds with free shipping for those nine. So when you think, like I was saying before, you can pick these up very easily for 50 pence each at the car boot sales. Sometimes even in charity shops you can get them for 50p. Um, and they make great little quick bundles and they sell really well. Um, what else have we got here? Oh, here's another example. Uh, this was quite amazing what they got on these. These are like the spin-off albums. So you've got Now Musicals, Now 80s, Now Number 1s, Now Christmas. Uh, and I pick these up fairly regularly for 50p or a pound. And what this seller managed to get on these uh, amazed me. There's, what's that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So there's 12 there. Plus um, there's that Smash Hits one as well. And now summer so it's 14 of them but they managed to sell that bundle for 85 pounds which is absolutely amazing if you ask me 
Um, so even if you, you were picking these up at a pound each, uh, there's really, really good money to be made. So he did incredibly well on these. £85 for that bundle. Right, and then here's another example. This this amazed me as well. These, um, you can pick these up for 50p all over the place. And the condition that these were listed in is awful. Like the case is broken at the hinge there. It's got cracks all over it. They're really in a pretty grotty condition. Um, but all this guy did was bundle them up. So he's got two there. And he's managed to get £12 with £2 shipping on top. So that's really good going. Uh, and it just shows, even the spin-off albums, uh, these Now Dance ones, there's still a collector's market for those as well, so don't pass those by. Now I mentioned cassettes before, um, so I've done a few completed listings of cassettes. This, the picture's pretty poor, but this is the first Now album, so it's Now One, if you like, uh, on cassettes. It was a, a double cassette, um, there it is there. Oh, I can't zoom in on that picture. Um, but you would think, blimey, that must be worth an absolute fortune. But it's not because it was issued in, in big numbers. It wasn't issued on CD. If you could find that on CD, I dare say it would be worth a fortune. Um, like the Now 4 CD that I showed you. Um, but it still has some good money That's uh, or good resale value. 13 50 they managed to get for that with postage on top. Uh, this is the sort of thing you can find at a car boot sale zoom out now there we go you can find these a car boot sale just chucked in a box under the table or in a in a charity shop sort of rummage bin of cassettes and you can pick them up for 20p 50p uh, and they're always good sellers the early cassettes here's uh, a now four so that's the same edition or the same number as that cd we saw that went for 400 pounds um but this sold in huge numbers on cassette, so it's not worth masses. This was actually another one that I um, owned. I, I managed to pick this up on cassette, and I had this. But when I upgraded to CD, I got rid of all my tapes, so I, I think I threw mine away. Um, but yeah, that on its own has sold for fairly good money. Uh, they got £10 for that, which is about right with £2.70 shipping. So the early uh, numbers, again, are worth picking up on cassette. I'll just zoom out. So sort of one to 10 and perhaps some of the early teens numbers, I would uh, sell individually on cassette. Or you can make little bundles up, I think. Oh no, here's another example before I show you the bundle. Uh, this is a Now, you see the little Now logo in the corner there. So it's actually a Now album, but it's just a Christmas compilation. Um, and even that on cassette has some really good value. They managed to sell that one for £15 with shipping on top. And that's, again, the sort of thing you will find in a charity shop or a car boot sale for pennies. Um, so keep your eyes peeled for the, for the spin-off albums that have the now name attached to them. Because uh, they can have some really good resale. Oh, I thought I had a bundle of cassettes here. Um, I don't. What I've tended to do, I, I pick these up when I find them. The later numbers of these, I've tended to put sort of three or four or maybe five together and sell them for 10 or 15 pounds. Um, but as I said, uh, these earlier numbers, are sort of the first 10 or so, uh, are probably worth your time listing on their own. Um, but then if we go on to vinyl, I found this listing and this uh, kind of blew my mind. This chap had uh, 1 to 35 on vinyl LPs, um, which is an incredible collection when you look at it. And he sold it for, this isn't just what he was asking, this is a sold listing at £699. So that just shows you the demand that is out there from the collectors for the vinyl. Um, so yeah, don't, oh, I can't zoom out, there we go. So that's an awesome listing. So that's... £700, give or take, for those Vinyl Now albums. And then here is Now One on Vinyl, which you might think would have loads and loads of value, but it really doesn't because most of Now One sold on Vinyl. So there are many, many thousands of these out there, so it's fairly common. 
um, but it's still worth picking up. That one sold for, there you go, £30 with shipping on top. But I've seen that go for up to 40 or 45 This one isn't in the best of condition. And when, you, when you're selling to collectors, it's all about the condition. If you, oh, there you go. You see it's got dog-eared corners. It's a bit battered on the sleeve. Um, so you didn't get the top end of, of what they can go for. Um, but it still shows that they are well worth picking up. And then with vinyl, it's kind of um, interesting that the later ones, this is now 29, um, are worth more than the really early ones. And that stands to reason because by this point, CD had really taken over. And now 29 would have sold probably 10, 50 or 100 times as many copies on CD than it would have sold on vinyl. So there wouldn't be many of these issued uh, and they'd be very hard to find. Um, so it sold for more than now one. Um, for that copy of now, what was it, 20, I can't see, 29. So yeah, it just shows. Keep an open mind when you're out there. Um, the now stuff, there's a huge, huge collector's market for it. Uh, but yeah, but like I say, just bear in mind, it's all about condition um, and be very selective with uh, with your items, depending on what condition they're in. Um, what else have we got here? Well, there's another vinyl. That's a uh, now four, and that. So you didn't have a great deal of value, um, because they would have sold in big numbers on vinyl again. So that that one's just sold for fifteen pounds, with free shipping, but still well worth picking up. Uh, I think that's all I've got on there. So yeah, I thought that was interesting. It just shows the. The big collector's market there is for, for these now albums. All right, let's come out of there. So there you go, guys. I hope that was interesting uh, and it gave you some information that you can use while you're out and about and hopefully pick some of these up and make some good money. I've been buying and selling uh, now albums since I first started reselling back in... Well, I first started buying CDs to resell back in 1997 and I was I was picking up now albums then and I've never stopped. They always sell. There's always a market for them. And uh, I thoroughly recommend uh, keeping your eyes peeled for them. So thanks for watching, guys. If you've not watched me before, my name's Nick and I'm a full time eBay uh, reseller. I do this to earn my living and I'm just here on YouTube sharing what I do, sharing some hints and tips and showing you how I earn my living. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.